Hi, I'm Carolyn Joyce, and for today's Silver Linings, I want to talk about Missy Franklin. While it's no secret that this is not the Olympic Games that Missy has been working towards and dreaming of for the last four years, and her contributions to the team this time around are not going to come in the form of a slew of Olympic gold medals, she's been contributing in a much different way. I've been close with Missy for years, and something that people always ask me is, is she really that way? Is she really always so happy and bubbly and sweet? And yes, it's, it's true, she really, really is. Ever since last night when Simone Manuel became the first ever African-American woman to win an individual gold medal at the Olympic Games, she has been creating tremendous buzz. Uh, men's 200 butterfly, no surprise here. Mm -mm. Michael out to a very commanding lead right from the get-go. Um, we saw a much stronger swim from him than we did in prelims and semifinals. He sharpened up his turns, things that he had concerns about before. Um, off the last wall, we saw Tom Shields try to make a move on Michael, but Michael being who he is, didn't let it stand and brought it home for the number one uh, number one finish tonight. Hi, I'm Carolyn Joyce, three-time Olympian and four-time Olympic silver medalist. Not gold, not bronze, silver. I want to talk about a couple silver lining stories here taking place at the 2016 Rio Olympic Games. And here I am with Jack Bowerly, head coach of the University of Georgia and Athens Bulldog Swim Club. Also, my personal coach, Jack sent me to two Olympic Games, um, a dear friend. Jack, you guys are having an amazing meet leading off. I mean, I don't know if a lot of people predicted Jay to touch in second place and run down Ryan Lochte in that 400 IM. Uh, okay, that was one of the neatest races. And uh, anyhow, I think things come full cycle when I'm sitting here with you, right? <laughs> yeah, so. um, Katie Ledecky just had a commanding lead from start to finish and ended up smashing her world record. She did. The world record line was literally at her feet the entire time. It looked like it was pushing her. And I... I actually loved Katie. This is her final swim. Day seven, yep. she has had a crazy schedule. This was her final swim of the entire meet. And finally on the podium, she could uh. let go. So if you want to know where all the athletes are going to be hanging out, resting up, trying to get their minds off their races, it's going to be right here.